Yeah, Brett Cooper's the real Snow White. Take that, Disney. Take that, Snow Woke. Oh, is this the best we can do? You've probably heard about the Daily Wire's upcoming Snow White movie, which is definitely not a jab at Disney for their upcoming wet fart, Snow Blanca and the seven amorphous persons. Yeah, it's pretty funny trolling, and that's about it. If it were just some funny skit they slapped together, that would be fine. But making an entire movie as a result of pettiness it's really not gonna turn out well. It will turn out well for me if you hit that like button. God, that was smooth like the mirrors on the huddle. Recently, I took my first swing at a video essay. I really enjoyed it. It was about Hollywood learning all the worst lessons from postmodern thought. It seems that in their effort to wrestle the Los Angeles pig, the Daily Wire has also gotten covered in the mud of postmodernism. One point that I stressed in that video was that postmodernism and now Hollywood, by extension, only focuses on the existing and pokes at it. It rarely provides ideas of its own. It just says, uh, everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. And while that can produce some funny results, it's not deep or interesting, really. What the Daily Wire is doing with Snow White is no different than what Disney has been doing with their race and gender swaps. In a world where so many properties are being palette swapped, the Daily Wire thinks it's an interesting subversion to shove it in their faces and do a live action, but with fair-skinned Brett Cooper. Whew, I am so glad we're not making movies centered around some imagined culture war the way progressive Hollywood seems to be. Hollywood's biggest issue right now is that it has zero original ideas. So we see them making endless universes that are interlocking and rely on the viewer keeping up with their assigned watching homework. Each product is really just a lead in to the next product. Or we see movies and shows that are clearly a response to the cultural problem du jour. They feel hollow because they are. They have no actual point other than to be edgy and subversive and wink at the audience while saying, we get it. He keeps pointing at me and goes, this guy gets it, and I don't. I don't get it. Disney's live action Snow White falls into this category. What if we took a classic fairy tale and changed everything about it? Wouldn't that be neat and meaningful? Wouldn't we seem interesting and progressive because we changed something from the past? Obviously not. Look, if we can agree that what Disney has done is incredibly stupid and we're trying to remain intellectually honest and consistent, then we should rightfully meet the Daily Wire's trolling with a good old fashioned eye roll. This has been Jeremy Boring's MO for a bit now, and I'll admit, I find it funny, but not praiseworthy. Oh, and what do you think? And this guy was so petty, you almost gotta respect it. I mean, that's true, and I chuckle when he makes his own chocolate or razor brand, but I won't get excited for his version of Snow White just because there's a shittier version on the horizon. That's called relativizing. Again, a postmodern idea that I can't stand, so I'm not gonna engage in it. While talking about his version of Snow White, he can't stop talking about Disney crappy version. This entire movie is just an F you to Disney. I recently saw a movie that was mostly a cheeky wink at hating Disney. It sucked. Making something just to spite something else is not how you make a quality product. Even Cooper's statements about it seem designed to draw a comparison to Rachel Zegler. Cooper is gushing over the original movie and fairy tale, which makes it so easy for YouTubers to contrast with how Zegler obviously hates the animated film. I mean, it's smart marketing. You can give Daily Wire that. Now, look, I don't want to bash Daily Wire in general, who I usually agree with. I think it's cool they're doing their own TV service, Bent Key, and I'm going to check it out and check out some of the shows. I'll report back. Hopefully, it's just good quality stuff like this comic. No, hang on. Like this comic book that a guy, Eric July, put out. Not in retaliation to the woke comic industry, but because he likes comics and he wanted to make a quality product period. My fear is that Bent Key is going to be a bunch of kids shows where the villain is like a transsexual communist or something. I, I don't know. We're, we're going to see. Right now, we know zero about the Daily Wire production other than it isn't the Disney version. That's not a tick in the plus column. I'm working on a script right now for the Wheel of Time season two, and defenders of that garbage like to point out, well, it's better than season one. Well, great. A slap in the mouth is better than being stabbed, but what are we proving exactly? I know everybody is pissed at Disney for what they're doing to Snow White, and you are justified to crap all over that movie. You should. I encourage it. But this movie doesn't automatically excite me. It's really a depressing sign of the ongoing culture war that is supposed to make me mad, but really, I'm, I'm just tired. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Daily Wire doing Snow White, or Disney doing Snow White? I look forward to reading your thoughts, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time.